Hey guys, it's me, it's Jess. I'm just gonna do a little vlog. Um, right now, like, I've really been doing a lot of thinking about routines and um, how I'm really struggling to have a routine. Now, I know it's part of the borderline. It's just that, just not being able to have a steady anything. Um, but I am so frustrated and um, I really am gonna work hard towards uh, towards routines I just like I've started a night routine just tonight I've just done it so I want to work on that and I'm kind of trying to keep it like a smooth kind of like you know have a bath and put lotions on and meditate and um, do my gratitude and all that kind of stuff and read and stuff like that um, so I'm gonna try I'm gonna try that out this week um, see how that goes I haven't been doing my morning routine either so I kind of feel off track it was I usually when um, I have a bad week or two I get off track during those times so I'm ready to take it on I'm ready to get back on track and see what I can do this week to um, get some steady routines um, you know I know they're not stuck in stone or anything like that but I, like I'm just like I'm just I really I really desire to have um, you know I really desire to have routines um, so like I'm determined to do this and um, I'm gonna do it and you know even if I just you know keep going like if I get off track and get back on track I, you know and hopefully eventually like you know it'll be longer periods of routines and stuff I realize it's not gonna be perfect but um, I don't know it's just such a struggle um, yeah, so, um, I haven't self-harmed in maybe almost two weeks now, so that's really good. Um, I'm starting to feel better. Um, kind of felt myself a little bit today, which was kind of nice, you know? I get little peaks of it, and it's really nice to just feel myself and just try to really cherish those moments and realize that this is why I'm trying to get better with my, um with my traits or with my borderline and trying to get better with stuff um so yeah I can't even like the gratitude I have towards the people who have helped me the last while the support I've had from my family um the support I needed and um yeah it's just been unbelievable um over the period of time when I was um, you know, talk about my spiritual life a bit over the period of time when I was um, uh, in the crisis center and I was doing things and stuff um, and, and talking to people on the phone or talking to my nurse or whatever, I felt like I was hearing what I needed to hear and that it was exactly meant for me to hear and um, I had such gratitude during my journey too. So um that's something that's new to me. I never had that before when I used to stay in hospitals or crisis centers or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, really, really, um, just so much gratitude, guys. Just so much gratitude. Um, there's so much to be grateful for. It's crazy. You know, you would ask me, like, maybe like two years ago write gratitude I'd be like I don't know what I'm grateful for actually I think I did like two years ago I don't know what I'm grateful for like and I couldn't even put anything on paper and now I feel like I have so much to be grateful for and um, I have an enormous amount of things to put on paper I feel like it's never ending the things I have to be grateful for um, so um, yeah um, I am working on a book. It's called The Magic. Um, I'm going to maybe try and do it each night. Um, it's uh, for gratitude. Um, if any of you want to do it, it's just gratitude each night. Um, each night, I, I think you're supposed to do it in the morning, but I'm doing it at night. I've done it before, but I want to do it again. I want to get working on my gratitude more and um, just have something at night to relax and do and write out my gratitude and it talks about um, in different um, the different kind of almost stages of gratitude I guess you could call it and uh, it's really cool so um, 
yeah, that's kind of what's going on with me. I'm also trying to read, um, it's called Spirit uh, Junkie, um, and um, I'm going to be reading that, and it's all about um, a girl and her journey with um, uh, addictions and stuff and alcohol, and um, it will be really cool, and her, her connection to angels and stuff, so um, I really do feel... Um, I have something, just something out there that's been looking after me and giving me messages of the things I need to hear and using the people around me for love and such. So, anyways, with that, I'm probably going to go, um, and yeah, in one hour, I will be two years sober. Yay! <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anybody can do it, man. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. So put your mind to it. You can do it. Okay. I will talk to you guys later.